Hello everyone. Welcome to Controllers Tech. This video is a start of new series of video tutorials, which will cover the Nextian displays. From now on, I will use this as my primary display, for every project that requires it. Well thanks to your continuous support, and the generous contributions, that you guys made. I bought a Nextian display, which is basically, HMI display. This is different from regular TFT or LCD displays, as it does not require any library, and works with only UART. It only have 4 pins, VCC, Ground, RX, and TX. Today in this video, we will talk about, how to start with such displays. First of all, download the Nextian editor. I am using this one here. Set it up, and open it. Go to File, and Create New. Save it to some location, and also give some name to it. Select you display model. I am using basic, 2.4 inch display. Go to display, and select the orientation you want to work with. Now here is the sample of how the display will look. On the right side, we have the properties, which you will know in a while. And here on the left, we have some pictures, fonts, and video tabs. Here is the width and height of this display. Now let's say I want to add a picture in the background. I have this picture here, and I will resize it to 320 by 240 size. I am using GIMP for this purpose, so follow along. Save it in the Nextian folder, and in the PNG format. Now go back to editor, and click add to add the picture. It will show up here. Now to add this picture to display, click image, and you will see the object got created here. If you click on the object, you can see its properties on the right side. It have ID 1, object name is P0. Click pick, browse for image, and add it to the display. This is how the background will look like. Now let's add some other element to it. I will add the scrolling text. I will add it to the bottom of the screen. To write anything here, we need the fonts first. Let's go ahead and generate the fonts. This is the preview area, and you can see how the fonts will look compared to the display. These are too small, let's increase the size. You can select different fonts too. Give some name and click generate. Save it somewhere inside the Nextian folder. You can see here the ID of the fonts is 0. Put the ID in front of font as 0. The text that we want to scroll, we can change it here. It is exceeding the predefined length. No problem, 
we can increase the maximum length. Let's change the text color, and the background color. This represents the scrolling distance in milliseconds. Let's make some changes here, to find out how fast it scrolls. Compile it now. It compiled successfully. Let's debug it. Here we can see, how the actual display will look like. We can do a lot of things here, and I will cover them in the upcoming videos. Scrolling looks too slow. Let's reduce the time, and increase the distance. It's quite okay now. Now it's time to upload the code to our display. We can do this via the SD card, or by using the UART with any TTL device. Connection is very simple. Just connect the IX pin to TX and TX to RX. VCC to 5 volts, and ground to ground. Let's see the device manager. As you can see, my FTDI is connected to COM4. Let's select COM4, and leave the board rate to 115200. Click Go, and it will start uploading. UART takes a lot of time to complete the operation. It is very fast if you are using SD card, but you need to use a class 10 device. You can watch some other video on how to do it via SD card. As you can see on the display, it is uploading at 115200 board rate. And there is update successful message. And here is the scrolling text with the text color, and the background. This doesn't look good because of this weird background color. Let's change it. This time instead of solid color, select the cropped image. And in the pick, select the same image. Let's change this text also. Compile it, and upload. As we are updating only, so it is done very quickly. So here we have, a decent looking scrolling message. This is it for this video. As I said in the beginning, I will continue this series of tutorials. We will see how to interface it with microcontroller, how to use buttons, how to send, and receive data from the display, and all such things. Till then, keep watching, and have a nice day.